Okay, this video is going to be on the possession of a top. Well, it might as well be a gyroscope or even the Earth um, possessing on its axis. The same result would apply in either case. So I'll draw a diagram of what's going to basically go on. So this top is spinning in an anti-clockwise way, and also at the same time it's possessing in this circle. So this this the, the top of this um, top would would actually be moving like this, while the pivot would be staying in the same place. So this would be spinning at the same time, and then this this thing would be going like this. So this is at one time t1, let's say, and then this is at the second time t2. So this is the initial state of the top, and then this is uh, another state of the top at a slightly later time. So it's still it's still rotating in the same way, and it's still possessing in the same way. So um, I'll I'll go through the notation. So R is basically um, um, this this is going to be the centre of mass here. So I've just taken my vector so that's for convenience. So R is the distance from the pivot to the centre of mass, um, and this this force here is the force that's going to cause um, the torque. It's not actually, because um, obviously gravity gravity would be acting in this direction here. So this is this is only a component of gravity acting perpendicular to the top. Uh, and, and the reason and the reason that, um, that, that, this, that this is the only one that exerts a torque on um, the pivot here. So I'm only looking at torques exerted uh, that's on, uh, with respect to this pivot. So you can work out this torque by taking the cross product of the R vector and then this force here, um, which is the component of gravity, and this this will give you a torque, and this is perpendicular to both this vector and this vector, although actually maybe quite difficult to see because I've tried to draw this in three dimensions and how successfully I've been. This is this angle is is basically uh, well you can see what this angle is. It's as as this possesses round, this this is going to this is going to be at an angle here to the vertical like that. Um, don't worry too much about LP. That we'll, we'll come to that at the end, uh, but. But this 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 is this is far more important. Lt1 is the is the angular momentum of this thing as it as it rotates um, anti-clockwise. So the angular momentum vector is pointing in this direction. Um, what this is is this is sort of a projection into this um, circle here, because when I look at the change in angular momentum, the change the the, um, the vector dl is only going to actually be in this circle here. It's not it's not going to be anywhere else. Um, because tor the torque is, is is only acting in one direction, so um, so it's going to act perpendicular to this at all at all times. So when so when this goes here, um, we'll have a um, torque acting acting in this direction as as it as it rotates, whatever. Because you can see that uh, you can see that uh, we're, we're still looking at the cross product of R and F. So the torque's going to keep on um, rotating around with this vector here. So the torque is always going to be perpendicular to this vector. So that's that's basically what I've done. Right. Okay. So so. I'm going to start the derivation now. After after that, and I'm going to be deriving the precession speed. So that's that's as this thing moves around here. So that's basically what I'm going to be deriving an expression for that. So first of all, the definition. This is very simple. Torque is the derivative of angular momentum with respect to time. This is this is not using any subscripts because this is just a gen general statement. Okay. So what 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 I said next is I've looked at um, the 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 final. Um, when I say final, it's after a certain amount of time. Um, vector here, alpha, in, um, th in this projection in this circle, and then the initial one here. And I said that, that, that the final one is equal to the initial one plus uh, dl. And the dl, as we know, is, is given by um, t uh, torque times dt, because obviously we can use this expression to come up with um, the expression for dl. And we know that, that dl is always going to be in that circle, as I just explained, so that's perfectly a valid thing to do. Okay, so if I look at this circle more clearly, I've drawn another diagram here of this circle. You can I see I'm looking down from it now. So then we've got L int here, which is which is the initial one um, projection of the angular momentum, and then we've got um, the torque here, which is actually in this direction. There should be an arrow on that L there. Sorry about that. So so that's in, so that's acting in this direction, and it's always perpendicular to this original vector here. And then this is the final one. So I've, I've, I've drawn a d theta because this is a very small change in theta. So we're, we're looking at we're looking at very small angles, very um, small changes. So this is basically uh, inf infinitesimal uh, angles and, and changes in angular momentum here. Okay, so the precession speed is going to be the change in um, in theta of the change in time. Um, again, this this is sort of a definition of uh, angular velocity. Uh, I'm, I'm uh, Again, I, I'm not going to prove this now. You can look in some of my early videos where I talk more about this. So, I'm looking at the change in this this angle here over time. So, to do this, I'm going to have to use some um, approximation. So, what I can say is that tan theta is equal to dl 
over L in. So I mean, that's just tr basic trigonometry. So there's nothing too difficult about that. So this 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 side over this side here. However, I've mentioned that this d theta is very small. So we can approximate. So we can say that d theta is approximately equal to zero. So tan d theta is approximately equal to d theta. Uh, and that's a small angle approximation. I've, I've used in previous videos the small angle approximation that sine of theta is approximately equal to theta when the theta is very small. It's it's pretty much the same thing. You can do it with tan as well. Um, and the reason is because as cos theta gets very small, it, it approaches one, um, and obviously tan theta is equal to sine theta over cos theta. So um, it would make sense that this this is how this is what would be going on here. So. I've just all I'm doing is I'm substituting these results into this equation here. So I've got my angular um I've got my angular um, um velocity here, sorry, I was just getting distracted, I was trying to move to move my, my, my thing down. Um so okay, so I've got my angular velocity here is equal to um D L over L I N T. So what I've done is I've substituted my tan theta, which is also equal to d theta, as I've shown. Ta tan d theta is equal to d theta because theta is very small. So I've substituted basically my d theta into this expression here. So so I know that d theta is equal. Oh, sorry, I I've, I've substituted this into this. So I'm just getting a little bit confounded because of trying to move this down. So so this is this is equal to d theta as I've explained earlier. So um, d so I've substituted this dl over l in into this equation here because of d theta over dt. Okay, so that's basically that. So then I've so then I've just basically done a bit of manipulation. That's dl over dt, one over l in. Obviously, d dl over dt, as we've explained earlier, is going to be equal to the torque. And this, this is basically the same as before. That's over l in. So, torque is equal to mg sine. Okay, and, and this angle here, as we showed at, at the top here, is this angle here, because this this the, the, um, the torque um, is obviously um, um, so so I've used the definition of torque here. So I've, I've multiplied the force, which is um, mg sine the um, um, phi, which is obviously because I'm only looking at the perpendicular component of the force with respect to the top, because this is the only one that's doing torque, and then r because that's that's just the definition of torque. It's a force. Um, Cross with an uh, sorry an arc cross with a force. But obviously, this is a magnitude, so we don't have to worry too much about vectors. And the uh, and the ish initial um, l vector there um, is basically the same as i omega sine theta. We know and we know that it's that it's um, equal to um, and, and, the, and the reason that the, and the place that this sine um, th um, theta comes from um, sorry sine phi comes from is because that obviously l in is um, the the, this this total of, uh, angular momentum, the the side uh, this, uh, the component in this circle, so it's obviously going to be the side uh, of this angle multiplied by this. So that's that's fairly straightforward there. So obviously it's i omega, which is the total momentum multiplied total angular momentum multiplied by the side of phi. So the side of phi is cancelled out. We end up with mg i over i omega, uh, which basically means that it doesn't matter what angle. The top, um, the top is at. It will still possess with exactly the same speed. The only thing that the only things that affect its possession speed um, are, are the force, which which causes the torque. So that's mgr. So that's basically the torque, the force that causes the torque there. And the its moment of inertia. So that's affected by its mass distribution. And of course, how fast it's spinning. So, um, and actually, this 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 is uh, this omega here is that I'm going to look at more closely. Um, because well, I'm going to I'm going to look I'm going to look at um, uh, this 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 omega again here. I'm going to I said I'd come back to what this was here, and the fact is we haven't actually considered the angular momentum of the possession um, itself. Because obviously obviously uh, since this top is possession, there's going to be an angular momentum vector given here, which is associated with that possession, and I haven't considered that yet. So I'm going to consider it now. If L in is very much bigger than dl, as we can see in this expression, and this the, the, this is particularly small. You can see that if if you look at um, if you look at this bit uh, it, uh, bit here, if if um, this is very much bigger than dl, then it would mean that this that this is very small, very close to zero. Although obviously it's not going to be zero. So this is small, so we don't have to worry too much about um, the angular angular momentum of the possession because obviously a small angular velocity means a small angular momentum. However, if L int 
if if DL is is comparable in size to L, and so uh, if so so if this thing here is getting quite big, uh, which 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 comes out which comes out of the result of well I mean well you know when when a top loses energy it starts to wobble. This is because of this LP we're talking about because the LP as as this as the possession speed starts to slow uh, starts to speed up. Uh, because it because it loses energy, this L this LP becomes significant. So this causes a, a vertical motion, which is which is associated with this precession of uh, uh, angular velocity here. Um, I hope um, I hope I've explained that reasonably clearly. It's quite a difficult subject, um, and I've had a few technical difficulties, so I'm sorry if I haven't been as clear as usual. Uh, I'll tr um, if anyone has any comments about how um, any difficulties in this, then I'll try and get back to you because I do understand that it's quite a difficult topic. Uh, I would also recommend going to another channel that I've listed called Core Pew 15. I think it's listed on my channel. He also does videos. Um, he he has done a video on possession as well. It goes into rather more detail than mine, and it, it, it sort of looks at the derivation of torque um, um, of uh, under things like moment of inertia. Because I sort of skipped over what what I really is. It's it's the moment of inertia, but he's he's gone through that. So that's that's one of the possibilities if you want if you wanted to be explained more clearly.